This is David Miller from Data Color, and we're going to demonstrate how to turn off color management in the Canon 9500 printer driver running under Windows XP. We've already launched Spider 3 Print, and we're on the Select Spider 3 Print Target screen, which is where we'll print the target from. At the top of the screen, we're going to click on the high quality target, which is the 225 patch color target, and that's the most commonly used target of color squares for building a printer profile. At the bottom of the screen, we'll now click on Print Target. And the XP Print dialog comes up. Now at the top of the dialog, we see a list of all the printer drivers that we have installed on our system. And I've got a few of these. I've selected the Canon Pro 9500 series, which is the 9500 driver. And XP tells me that its status is ready which means it's plugged into USB and it's turned on and functioning. So how do I set up the printer driver? I click on the Preferences button while I have the printer selected. So I click Preferences. This gives me another dialog that has a series of tabs across the top of the screen. And the only one that I'm really concerned about here is the main tab, which is what originally comes up selected. At the top of the screen, we have a media type pop-up. And here is where we select the kind of paper or the type of media that we're going to be printing the target on. If I click, it gives me a list of all the possible paper types that are supported by the Canon 9500 driver. Each one of these different settings will produce slightly different effects in how the ink is being laid down on the paper by the driver. For our example, we'll just choose Photo Paper Plus Glossy as the kind of paper that we'll be testing with. In the print quality section, below that, we have several choices, high, standard, and custom. And for the purpose of our example, we'll choose high, which means a higher resolution printing mode, and this is what most people would normally print the target at for building a printer profile, and then later on use when they're actually printing photographic images. The section below that is labeled color and intensity. This is where we need to turn color management or color adjustment off in the driver. We have two radio button choices here, auto and manual. We don't want to choose auto because that gives control of color management back to the Canon driver. We don't know exactly what it's going to be doing underneath. We don't want that setting. Instead, we, ch we click on manual so that it's selected, and then we click on the set button. This brings up a manual color adjustment dialog. And the setting that we're concerned about in this dialog is right up at the top of the dialog in the color correction section. There are three choices, driver matching, ICM, and none. And none is the choice that we need to make here. This is the only setting out of the three that will give us no color adjustment, no profiles being applied by the Canon driver during the printer process. So none is the correct choice. This is what you have to pick here when you're printing a target. And when this is selected and we eventually print the target, we will get a nice dark saturated color print for the target, which is what we're looking for here. All of the other controls in the rest of the dialog, just ignore them. Leave them all set to zeros, their default positions. We're not going to change those here, and later on we won't make any adjustments for those when printing through the profile. So just leave those the way that they are. Down at the bottom of the dialog, after you've selected None at the top, click the OK button. Don't click Cancel, because if you do that, then any changes that you've made here are going to be disregarded by the Canon driver. So you have to make sure that when you're in this dialog, after you've selected None at the top, that you exit the dialog by clicking the OK button down at the bottom. This takes us back one level to the Printing Preferences dialog, again with the main tab where we started. And again, to get back out of this level to the starting point of setting up the Printer Preferences, we have to click OK. You don't want to click Cancel here either, because again, if you click Cancel, then any changes that we made, including paper type and turning color management off inside of the Color and Intensity section will be disregarded by the Canon driver. 
So don't make the mistake of clicking cancel here. Always click OK as the final step to get back out of the printing preferences dialog. And now we're all set. We've got the printer selected here. We've gone into printer preferences and set them up as we just showed so that color management will be turned off and the proper paper type was selected and now all we need to do is click on the print button at the bottom of the dialog and we will get the properly printed target print.